very important. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I wanna walk you guys through something that uh, when I first started, I, I wasn't thinking, the mindset that I didn't have uh, when I started trading. So I wanna share that with you guys today. If you're just starting out, this might be a good opportunity for you to learn this as quick as possible so you can make money in the market in both directions. So, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so the today's video again guys i want to walk you guys through the mindset that i didn't have when i first started trading and basically once you get in the market most people like new investors they only have one direction it's like a one-way street it's like buy low sell high and make money that is the way they think and that's how 90 percent of people in the market that's the way they think it's always like you know if i buy a low it goes up i sell i make profit they never look the other way around that in the market you can make money a ton of money when the market is pulling back so assume that like during the, the covid crisis when back in march when the market was pulling back most people were panicking and selling uh, whereas you had people that are short sellers that knew what was happening they were selling to buy back low and they made a ton of money imagine uh, companies going from 400 dollars a share down to 200 or 150 um look at uh Boeing that went from almost $400 to under $100. So if you are shorted Boeing, if you had sold high to buy low, look at where your low is. You'd have made over $300 a share. So that's a mindset that I didn't have when I first started. It, I just started, it was like, hey, I'm only looking for a good entry point, buy low and say hi. But now if you start implementing short selling in your strategy, you're gonna see that you can make money in the market in both directions. So when it's going up, you buy low and sell at the top but the minute you sell at the top the reason you're selling at the top is that you anticipate that there's gonna be a pullback right so if there's a pullback why not get ready to get enjoy that pullback so you sell at the top and then turn around and sell again to buy back at the bottom but there is a catch here. Not everybody can do short selling um, on the Weibo platform. So that's the platform that I use. So I don't know about all the other platforms, but in the Weibo platform, you have to have a margin account to be able to short sell. And to open a margin account on the Weibo platform, I think you need $2,000 to be able to get the account. And then um, some drawbacks is that once you have a margin account with less than $25,000 on the Weibo platform, you can only have three day trades in a five business day cycle. So if you buy today and sell today, that's considered a one day trade. If you buy again and sell, that's two day trade. You buy again and sell, that's three day trade and you're done until five business days so you can do that again. But um, within while you're waiting, you can do overnight trades or what they call swing trading. So you can buy today, hold it overnight and sell it tomorrow and you won't get flag as a day trader because you held it overnight and overnight on the Weibo platform um, you go from 7 p 7 p.m. central time that's when the market closes to to 3 a.m. central time that's when the market opens so if you hold it overnight within that period and then you're not going to get flagged as a day trader so those are some of the limitations but again uh, you can actually make money in the market in both directions so that mindset that i didn't have i want to share that with you guys so you can start thinking about it especially for those of you guys that have margin accounts you can look at making money in the market in both directions keep your eye in the news look at companies when your earnings are coming out if you see that they're going to miss their earnings you see that there's some bad news about a specific company you can jump in and look at it and see what if if there's an opportunity for you to short that company right there you can short it and just enjoy that right down and continue to make some profit. So I'm gonna jump on the Weibo platform here and show you how you can actually identify which stocks are shortable because not every stock is shortable. So when you go in to short a stock, you might see some stocks to tell that there's not enough uh, shares to short. And some, there is a fee that you have to pay to be able to short them and others, there's no fee. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that on the Weibo platform. So let, let's, let's jump right in here and just take a look at 
what that looks like on the Weibo platform. So right now, this is the Weibo platform. Uh, again, for me, I'm actually showing you guys, uh, this is a dashboard that I created just for this. I have different dashboards that I have set up for my personal training, but I'm gonna show you guys. So if you go under, um, you know, where it says trade, and then you go to your dashboard, you, if you look at this, it says quote, I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this here so you guys can see where it says quote, and how to add this to your dashboard is if you go to widget, and then go under stocks, and then go under quotes right here, it would add something like this to your dashboard. So you can just pull this and put it right there. Since I already have it, there's no need for me to, to include another one again. But once you add that, what I want you to do is go to where it says set, um, set as group, click on that, and then you can pick a group. So for me, uh, I set everything to group one. So when I set the group one, notice that it changes to Tesla because that is Tesla that I have open here. So if you look at all, everything on here is set to group one. So I have group one, group one, group one. So that when I change this particular stock, let's say I switch the stock to something else, it would reflect. So for instance, if I go to NEO, see everything on this dashboard changes to NEO uh, because they are in the same group. So that's that's um, one thing I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna delete this because we don't need it. But we're using this one right here, as you can see. So if you go, if you go in here, this is how you know that stock is shortable. If you look here at the very bottom here, I'm gonna pull this, um, see if I can expand this, uh, bring this right here, see if we can expand it. Uh, it doesn't allow me to expand it. But here's what I want you to take a look at, right? When you go to this particular stock uh, on that quote, if you see here, it shows the NASDAQ total view, you go, it shows you if the stock is manageable or it shows you if the stock is shortable. So right here, Weibo is actually shortable and you can short Weibo all day long. There's no restriction as to uh, if you can short it. But let, let me show you another stock that it might be shortable, but there's restrictions. So let's let's see, uh, let's say nano dimensions. So nano dimension is, it says hard to borrow, see that? So when it says hard to borrow, it means that it's, it's not just, you cannot just short it. Uh, here there's a fee. So if you look at, if you click here, or if you look here, it shows you the fee. So for instance, let's go here and I'm gonna just do a quick example to see, show you guys if I wanted to place a short order. In this case, I'm gonna say I want a short, um, I would say um, 100 shares at, um, let's, see, let's put a price of 4.4, just to show you guys uh, the example here. And then if I say place order, see here, it's telling me that I'm trying to short this and there is a fee of 24.15%. Um, that's the borrow fee that I have to pay if I want to short this. And, and so in this case, you know that you have an estimated borrow fee of 24.14%. And sometimes um, this fee can go as high as uh, 100%, 120, 130. I've seen some as high as 200% to borrow it, which means that it's relatively uh, very, very difficult to short that stock. And so you have to decide if it's worth shorting it and paying that fee. Um, so if you look at the cost basis, if you're gonna make a ton of money uh, shorting it, then it's easy for you to make to make that payment of that fee uh, right there. So let's take a look at another one. Let's say Bling. Uh, same thing here with Bling. Bling has, our, so if you can see here, has an estimated borrow fee of 54.05%. Uh, uh, so that's this is where you go to see if a stock is shortable or not. Most people, um, the, all they do is they try shorting the stock and then it tells them like, you know, there's a fee. That's what they realize. But on the Weaver platform, this is where you go to figure it out to see if the stock is shortable or not. So uh, again, guys, this is uh, something I wanted to share with you guys because um, in the market, you can make money in both directions. It doesn't, you just don't have to uh, focus solely on making money on, on the upside. You can make money on the downside, especially if you are trading. Uh, for investors, you don't have to worry about this. Investors, your goal is to buy low, as, as low as possible, and just let it ride. Um, again, I've done a video here where we talked about uh, who an investor is, who a swing trader is, and who a day trader is. So I'm gonna hook that video up here. If you haven't already, you can definitely go check it out. But if you fall in the category of a, a, a trader, which means that you buy and sell frequently, uh, you wanna consider doing, um, changing that mindset from like always going long to make profit. You can make profit going uh, on, on going down too. So uh, again, 
some of the key things I want you to consider is know that you have to have a margin account uh, on the Webo platform, uh, which requires a maximum of $2,000. And then if you don't have $25,000 in your account, you get only three day trade and a five business day uh, cycle. And if you don't, then you're going to get flagged. If you do more than three day trades, you're going to get flagged as a part in day trader. So, and then, I mean, you can, you can remove that uh, by calling them, telling them uh, they can remove it, or you have to wait a certain amount of time, sometimes 90 days before they can remove that on your account. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Let me know in the comment section. Um, do you, do you short sell or uh, it's not your thing? Have you tried it? Do you have a margin account that you use for that purpose? Again, um, what's your mindset when it comes to short selling? Does it make sense to you? Again, again, short selling, is the process of making money in the stock market when things are going south. So if you see the price of the stock dropping, short sellers are making money. So you buy, you sell high and then buy low, which is the reverse, which is again, I'm saying like that's the mindset we have is always buying low and selling high. In this case, you're selling high and then buying back low to make profit. Um, if you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and, and, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. And also uh, during this period, Webo is doing a promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks, not one, not two, not three, four free stocks, guys. This is absolutely insane take advantage of this i'm gonna put the links in the description below and as always guys do your homework don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated